Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to crochet a beautiful rainbow poncho. And I also have written pattern is available in the PDF file. I will put the link in the description below. It will take you to my SC shop. And if you want to see some more picture, you can check my Facebook and Instagram. I post the picture on there. All right, enjoy. For this poncho, we're going to make total of three panels. We have the back panel and then two front panels like so. And we're going to make uh, two front panel exactly the same. And then for the back panel, it's pretty similar and I'm gonna make the front panel first and after you make all three panels you're gonna put it like this and then sew the shoulder for both sides and then sew the side till you reach the armhole and we're gonna do the same with the other side okay so let's see what we will need for this project for this project, I'm using Red Heart. It's a wrap rainbow. This is my second time using this yarn. I love it so much. <laughs> it's so fun. It has a lot of color. Alright, so you can check in the description below for more detail. And I use two skin of this yarn and I'm making side medium. Crochet hook size 4 millimeters and you will need scissors, yarn needle and markers. And let's get started. So I already made one front panel. Remember I told you two front panel make exactly the same. For the first front panel I use uh, the yarn from the middle of the the ball and then for the second panel I gonna start using the second ball and pull the yarn out from the middle because I want two panels to be matching color you don't have to do like I do it's totally up to you I just want to show you how I did it this is gonna be my second front panel and I bring the yarn from the middle of the ball and then I'm gonna make slip knot and make 122 chains. Make sure when you make the chain, you don't make it too tight. So this is gonna be the length for the poncho. All right, I will meet you guys when you have 122 chains. So now I have 122 chains and we're gonna skip four chain stitches. So one, two three four and then we're gonna make one double crochet into the fifth chains so the four chain that we skip is count as one double crochet and we're gonna make one double crochet into each chain stitch so this is row one and this is the right side Row 1 for the uh, panels is going to be the right side. Keep making one double crochet into each chain stitch till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there. When you come to the end of row 1, you will have a total of 119 double crochet stitches. Includes the full chain that we skipped to. Okay. And for row 2, I'm gonna turn and chain three. You can chain first and turn, it doesn't matter. For three chains, all the way count as one double crochet. And then double crochet into next stitch right here, okay? Not the first stitch. So the first stitch is stitch from the three chains. So double crochet into next stitch. And then double crochet into next stitch. 
and we're just gonna make one double crochet into each stitch all right keep making that i will meet you guys when you come to the end of row two i'm in the end of row two but i have to make the last stitch into the chain here remember four chain we skip right here we're gonna make one last double crochet into the fourth chain so yarn over insert the hook in the chain oops go up a loop make a last single crochet so you will have the same uh, 119 double crochet stitches I want you guys to count your stitches every row because it's very easy to miss and for row 3 I'm gonna turn and chain 3 and then we're gonna make double crochet next 2 stitches together right here okay start right there not the first stitch all right the first stitch of a gonna be stitch from the chain three so yarn over insert the hook into next stitch right here and pull up a loop you have three loops you're gonna pull out two loops like so and then yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and then pull up a loop now you have four loops and pull out two loops and then we're gonna pull all three loops out this is how you make double crochet two stitches together and then we're gonna chain five one two three four and five when you make the chain make sure it's not too tight and then skip one stitch and make double crochet next three stitches together so this one skip one okay yarn over insert the hook you have three loops pull out two loops and then yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and pull up a loop and pull out two loops and then yarn over insert the hook into next stitch and pull up a loop and then pull out two loops now we have four loops on the hook we're gonna pull all out this is how we make double crochet three stitches together and then chain five make sure the chain is not too tight and then skip one stitch and make double crochet next three stitches together like we did here we can uh, repeat this pattern so yarn over skip one stitch and insert the hook into next stitch do the same double crochet three stitches together now you have four loops on your hook and we're gonna pull it all out and then chain five okay so we're gonna repeat this skip one stitch and double crochet next three stitches together Okay, when you have four loops on your hook you're gonna pull it all out and chain five oops okay so just keep repeating this pattern after you chain five you're gonna skip one stitch and double crochet next three stitches together and then chain five and keep repeating this till you come to the end of row three and i will meet you guys there now i'm in the end of row three and then after i make five chains you're gonna skip 
one stitch and double crochet next three stitches together okay so and one more stitch gonna be the third chain all right we're gonna yarn over insert the hook into the third chain And then I have four loops and I pull it all out. All right, so this is the end of row three. And then for row four, I'm gonna turn and then chain five. And make single crochet into the um, chain space here. Insert the hook into the chain space, not in the stitch, okay? And then chain five. And make one single crochet into next chain space. And then chain five. Make sure you don't make the chains too tight. And then one single crochet into next chain space and chain five okay so you're just gonna repeat this pattern till you come to the end i will meet you guys there now i'm in the end of row four so this is the last chain space and then i'm gonna chain two after that and then make one double crochet into the third chain The third chain is always kind of difficult to see. You have to be careful with that. Okay, and then I'm going to turn. And for row 5, I'm going to chain 3. And then double crochet sorry two double crochet into the same chain space see so includes the first three chain we have three double crochet into the same space and chain one and then we're gonna make three double crochet into the third chain stitch you see this five chain space, but we're gonna make three double crochet into the third chain stitch because it's gonna lock the yarn better. Lock the stitch, I mean. So yarn over and then insert the hook into the third chain. So you don't have to count where is the third chain. You just kinda like uh, make sure it's in the middle of the chain space sorry one more and then I'm gonna chain one and then repeat that pattern three double crochet into the third chain stitch And then chain one see we can now repeat this pattern after you chain one you're gonna make three double crochet into the third chain stitch or doesn't matter make sure it's in the middle of the chain space and then chain one and then three double crochet into the third chain stitch till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there 
I'm in the end of row 5. So after I chain 1, I'm going to make 3 double crochets into the third chain stitch here. So you can count here. This is the third chain. So yarn over, insert the hook into the third chain. Pull up a loop. Two more, two more double crochet. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Now we're gonna turn and chain three. This is row six. For three chain all way count as one double crochet. And one double crochet into next stitch. And one double crochet into next stitch. And then one double crochet into the chain space right here. And then double crochet into next three stitches. And then one double crochet into the chain space. See, we're gonna repeat this pattern and then we're gonna make three double, I'm sorry, double crochet into next three stitches and then double crochet into the chain space and double crochet into next three stitches. Repeat this till you come to the end. Now I'm in the end of row six, but I have to make one more double crochet into the last stitch. I just want to show you guys the last stitch. It's very really difficult to see. So the last double crochet is going to be uh, into the third chain. We're going to insert the hook into the third chain. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I have the same 119 double crochet stitches. Same here. Make sure you count your stitches. And then we're gonna turn. And then chain three. And double crochet into next stitch right here. We're just gonna make one double crochet into each stitch. Keep repeating this till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there. Now I'm in the end of row 7 and I already made my last double crochet into the third chain. See I have the same 119 double crochet stitches. And then for row 8 to row 20, you're just going to make one double crochet into each stitch. Okay? So I'm going to show you the easy way to know how many rows you have to work on. So basically, we're going to make 15 rows of double crochet in the middle. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we have total of 15 rows of double crochet. And I will meet you guys when you come right here, this part. So now I have 15 rows of double crochet stitches here. So you see this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 
okay so basically all here this part we have 20 rows okay and next for row 21 we're gonna make the same as row 3 so we're gonna turn and then chain 3 and then double crochet next two stitches together so yarn over insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop pull out two loops and then yarn over insert the hook into next stitch pull up a loop pull out two loops and then we're gonna pull it all out and then chain five see if we make the same uh, pattern that we did for row three but I just want to show you guys again so skip one stitch and then double crochet next three stitches together okay four loops on your hook and we're gonna pull it all out and chain five Make sure you don't make the chain too tight and then skip one stitch and double crochet next three stitches together. Okay, four loops on your hook and pull it all out and chain five. Okay, so you're just gonna repeat this pattern. See, we do exactly the same at row three. Alright, so I will meet you guys when you come to the end of row 21. Now I'm in the end of row 21. That's what it looks like. For row 22, we're gonna make the same as row four. So I'm going to turn and chain 5. Make sure you don't make the chain too tight. And then make one single crochet into the chain space. And then chain 5. And one single crochet into next chain space and then chain five and then one single crochet into the chain space so we're just gonna repeat this pattern next you're gonna chain five and then single crochet into next chain space and chain five Repeat that till you come to the end. I will meet you guys there. Now I'm in the end of row 22. And then I'm gonna chain two and make one last double crochet into the third chain here. Yarn over, insert the hook into the third chain. And pull up a loop. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Do that again, yarn over, insert the hook up a loop okay that's what it look like and then for row 23 we're gonna make the same as row 5 so I'm gonna turn and then chain 3 and make two double crochet into the same chain space so include the first three chain we will have three double crochet here and then chain one and make three double crochet into the third chain stitch or in the middle of the chain space
Oops. Okay, one more. And then chain one. And do the same three double crochet into the third chain stitch. Oops. And then chain one. So we're just gonna repeat this pattern. After you chain one, you're gonna make three double crochet into the third chain stitch and then chain one. And keep repeat this till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there. Now I'm in the end of row 23. After I chain one, I'm gonna make three double crochets into the third chain stitch. So you can count here as well. So you're on over, insert the hook into the third chain. Okay, two more double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, that's what it look like. It's the same pattern here. And then for row 24, you're gonna turn and chain three and double crochet into next stitch and double crochet into next stitch and then double crochet into the chain space and double crochet into next three stitches we make the same as row six okay so you just keep repeating this till you come to the end and i will meet you guys there now I'm in the end of row 24 and I have 119 double crochet stitches and then for row 25 I'm gonna turn my work so this is the final row and I'm gonna chain 3 and double crochet into next stitch and we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch alright I will meet you guys when you come to the end now I'm in the end of row 25 and we're done making the front panel so I'm gonna chain one and then gonna cut the yarn and then pull the yarn out so right now I have two front panels and next I'm gonna make the back panel we make exactly the same pattern except we add more double crochet rows so remember we make double crochet 15 rows in the middle here for the front panels and for the back panel we're gonna start the same pattern and when you come to the middle when you start make double crochet I make total of 47 rows for the back panel and after I have 47 rows I gonna start make this part see we start the same and then we finish the same the only thing different is you just add more row of double crochet in the middle from 15 rows to 47 rows Alright, so I hope it makes sense. If you don't understand, please leave the comment below and I will answer you. Now I'm done making the back panel, but I just want to talk about this uh, two front panel first. So see this blue color here where I start making the front panel. And then this blue color from the other panel this is where I start as well and now I want the blue color facing each other so I gonna turn so this is uh, right side okay so I gonna turn bring from the bottom to the top 
to be the top but both panel still right size facing me okay so you don't have to do like I did but I just want to show you guys maybe some of you guys want to know how I did it okay so next I gonna show you how to sew all three panels together this is my back panel it's kind of big so you can see it all I'm sorry so the double crochet from here to here I have 47 rows okay and um, I start using the yarn the leftover from the front panel in the middle of the ball and I keep making all the way till I'm out of that ball right here and then for the second ball I start using from the outside so the color the green color still keep going okay as always you don't have to do like I did I just want to show you guys so this is my yarn left over from the second ball here okay so we're gonna start sewing so the back panel is right side facing me right now and then I'm gonna bring my front panel put the right side facing each other so right now my front panel is the wrong side facing me okay we're gonna sew the shoulder part and I'm gonna bring another panel so right side facing each other so right now wrong side of the front panel facing me so for neck space right here I, uh, is open about four inches okay so let's get sewing okay so now I have my yarn needle and then I use the same yarn that I made poncho to sew and before you sew make sure it's the right side facing each other and we sew into the wrong side here okay so I'm gonna insert my needle into this corner here which is the third chain there and then go to my back panel into the corner as well I'm just gonna tie a knot and I'm gonna weave the end later so start sewing I'm just gonna sew no more <laughs> just insert the needle into the front and into the back but I insert my needle into the stitch okay I'm not insert into the chain space the big gap okay gonna insert my needle to next stitch and then insert my needle into the back panel while you're sewing make sure uh, the front panel and the back panel is matching make sure you're not stressed like front panel and then the back panel is kind of tight okay make sure it's uh, matching okay I'm just gonna keep sewing the same you can use any method you like so keep sewing till you uh, come to the end of the front panel here and when you come to this corner which is the end of the first front panel and then you're just gonna cut the yarn and weave the end and then start sewing the second front panel sewing the same make sure 
uh, the front and the back is matching so now I'm so the shoulder part both side already and I will show you what the right side look like see that's what is the right side okay kind of beautiful <laughs> all right next we're gonna sew the side of the poncho so I leave my armhole about nine inches and then I just gonna place the marker there but I can't find the marker right now okay and then gonna sew the side together all right so I will show you guys how to sew it so finally I found the marker so I mark it right here so measuring yourself how big you want your armhole to be like I say for me I made uh, 9 inches armhole and then I'm gonna start sew from the marker down to the bottom here all right and I already sew one side so I will show you guys what it look like so this the wrong side okay this armhole and this is the right side see you can use any um, style of sewing but I just want to show you guys anyway <laughs> Okay, and I use my yarn needle again and same yarn that I use for my poncho. Insert my needle into marker stitch and to the back panel as well and remove marker. And then gonna tie a knot, just couple knot. I gonna weep the end later. I'm gonna insert to the front panel next stitch and then to the back panel next stitch so we sew the same that we sew um, the shoulder but the side is gonna be better uh, easier because we see the stitch see I just keep sewing to the front and then to the back Keep doing that till you come to the end. So when you're done sewing, you're just gonna cut the yarn and weave all the ends. And then we done. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy making this uh, project. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.